is Fred Goldstein here, and I'm with Healthcare Now Radio at the pop-up studio at the MGMA conference here in New Orleans, and I'm joined by Catherine Short. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Well, it's, it. it's absolutely a pleasure, and obviously podcasters alike. So your show focuses on compliance. What are some of the issues you've dealt with or some of the recent guests you've had? Well, we really run the gamut. Uh, anything having to do with healthcare compliance, we talk about patient safety, we talk about some durable uh, medical equipment, we talk about just anything that uh, healthcare administrators, C suite, or healthcare attorneys, whatever they're interested in hearing about, we have on our show. So it's just, it really, really runs the gamut. But um, we have a lot of listeners, I have people coming up to me constantly saying that they um, are listening to my show and it always surprises me because you never know who's out there in, in the world listening to your, to your show and it's, it's a wonderful thing. Yeah, and it's really fantastic because you've, you're taking a show in an area where people feel a lot of pressure and compliance, obviously. It crosses a lot of different sectors of healthcare and everything else. Mm-hmm. And so, obviously, you're, you're bringing them a value, too, right. by giving them answers to some of these problems. Right, yeah, and some of the topics that come up as well are, you know, stark and anti-kickback. Those are always really, really interesting to talk about. ECRA, that's a very new one because there wasn't a whole lot of uh, information about that uh, when it came out. And so we have a show about that. Uh, and there's, there's just so, so many broad topics in healthcare. And it's just, it's just a really, really interesting field. It is. And what's it feel like for you doing something? Obviously, I understand you're a singer, yes. opera singer. Yes, I am. I am an opera singer, uh, which is, of course, a natural seg into healthcare and opera. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the connection between the two. But yeah. as an opera singer, you're out on the stage. You said you told me earlier you started really young. Right. I did start very young. I started as a five year old. I can remember getting up and singing. My mother was there, my grandmother. I remember singing right into the microphone. I was so scared, but I don't remember what I was wearing. But yeah, getting up and, and singing, yeah. So what's it like, you on the stage obviously is one big deal with a lot of stress, and behind a mic, is there a difference? Do you see the same? Is there some things that carry over to help you? Yes, there's definitely things that carry over for sure. Uh, the confidence and projection, the way that you can uh, speak, to, speak to others, the way that you can seek out different experts, the way that you can present yourself in front of others, there's definitely a, a lot of carryover in that, in that way. Yeah, for sure, there, there definitely is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how do you enjoy the microphone behind the microphone from a podcast versus doing that and comparing that to doing that on stage in front of a live audience? Oh, well, that's... That's actually that's actually interesting because in opera you actually do not use microphones. You right. have to just that's use true. yeah, it's just acoustic. Um, so, uh, but you have to use good support, just the same way that you would use good support when you speak. And actually, that's very interesting when I am looking at the acoustic sound waves when I'm doing the the podcasting. I see that on the sound waves, so I see myself and I see these you know, large yeah, the sound waves. Undulated waves going exactly, down, right? exactly. So I see my sound waves and then I see often my guests' sound waves. And so I see mine are like, you know, very strong and everything. And then the the guest sound waves they, they often have a different it's a, it's definitely a different wave formation. So I think, oh, you know, and I have to adju- adjust for that or that has to be adjusted because I have such a I don't know. A You've trained projection. a powerful voice that exactly. projects. So is there a difference in your head? Obviously, one, you're in front of a big audience, mm-hmm. and the other, maybe you're in a room. Correct. And how is that? Do you feel, sense any difference in terms of confidence? Or did the stage thing say, well, I'm just up here, and I can project away, and I'm going to now sit in front of this microphone and do a podcast, and I can just project away? Mm, well, yeah, I mean, in, in, <laughs> on, on one hand, uh, you're in front of you know, like thousands of people. And on the other hand, you're, you don't see the other person. So you have to, I mean, in the beginning, you have to get used to the fact that you can't, you're not getting feedback from someone else's face, like your wonderful Mm. face right now. So there is a difference uh, in that, but 
it's just it's just a different it's just a, a different style, and I enjoy both immensely. I really love it. It's it's a great it's a great thing to do, and it's it's just a wonderful thing. So I understand, Catherine, you had a recent show on cannabis and compliance issues and stuff. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, actually, that was a really interesting show. That was with Gene Ransom of MedKai in Maryland, and it was about the legal technical aspects of cannabis. He's an attorney and, like I said, the head of this medical doctors and physicians group. And so we talked, it was, it was very, very interesting because he talked about the legal ins and outs about dispensing and recommending, because of course you can't write prescription for it, you have to write recommendations. And so he, ta- he was talking about all the different legal aspects of it. It was a very, very timely and right on point and very, of course, non you know, non-political. It was just a really great program. Um, I really recommend listening to it for for everyone, for physicians, for practice manager. But it was a it was a really wonderful show. So, where can somebody find your show? You can find it on healthcarenowradio.com. Well, that's fantastic. It's great to have you on Healthcare Now Radio. Obviously, with your show, First Talk Compliance. Thanks so much, Catherine. Pleasure. Well, thank you so much, Fred. I really, really enjoy it. Thanks for interviewing me. I appreciate it.